Hi, this is Mark with Safe Day Trading. Are you interested in learning how to effectively trade the market for real-time profits? Do you want to supplement your income today or for your retirement? Discover how simple it is to make three to five hundred dollars a day when you have the Safe Day Trading dot system. I want to make it easy for you. Go to SafeDayPodcast.com. Register for the free ebook, Your Fundamental Truth to Making Consistent Money Day Trading. Also, free Safe Day Trading mini course. Learn the truth about trading safely and profitably. And free eavesdrop trading session. Listen to us, trade live, and make real money daily. Follow the dot and make a lot. Remember, it's all free. See you at safedaypodcast.com. All presenters and guests of Safe Day Trading Podcast opinions are their own and do not constitute financial advice in any way whatsoever. Nothing produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast constitutes a investment recommendation, nor should any data or content produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast be relied upon for investment activity. Safe Day Trading Podcast recommends that you perform your own independent research before making any financial decisions. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today is December 18th, 2022. Got a lot of stuff to cover today. Sorry I haven't been uh, available much. I've only done a couple of uh, podcasts on a weekly basis lately, but uh, real life is getting in the way uh, with the family. So hopefully that will change uh, after the new year. And so let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Uh, First of all, let's recap a little bit about yes, this last week. Um, It's been a busy week. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday had a lot of movement in terms of the Dow, oil, and um, gold. I hope you had a chance to uh, profit from that. If you did, congratulations. Um, If you didn't have a chance to profit from it, I hope you watched it and watch what happened, uh, how the market acted, um, and kind of stuff like that. There's lots of stuff going on these days, and um, profitability, even just at the fundamental levels, is pretty pretty good, uh, let alone at the technical levels. Now, we've got them coming up on the next two weeks. Uh, this next week is Christmas, and the week after that is New Year's. It's going to be a little slow. Volume's going to be well off the pace. Uh, My understanding is uh, this uh, winter that the volume is much lower than before and uh, you know a question about recession or inflation or whatever is happening. Uh, So expect I think a little lower volume in uh, the next two weeks and how do you trade that? Well the best way to trade that is lower your profit expectations okay um, you know, if you're looking for $100, $200, dollars in terms of runs for an entry, you know, maybe it's fifty, sixty, a hundred instead. Okay, um, so you'll have to see how things go um, after the market opens up, say like after seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know, if the the volume is low and slow, um, then expect to drop your profit expectations down. It's okay. Um, You know, you drop it down, let it run. Uh, You know, you'll make money, but you know, not quite as much as you you were going to make. And, but that's okay. I mean, the the whole issue right now is uh, profitability, right? So what we're looking for in, also, we're looking for a couple of activities going on in um, this next week as well. I think it is, uh, yeah, Thursday. It's probably when most of the reports come out. GDP, initial jobless claims, jobless claims. So they're all coming out. Real consumer spending. Um, so be prepared, be prepared for that. That's at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. Um, expect the reports. I, I would expect it to move. Maybe not as much as it would move in a, in a non-holiday week, Um, but you know, there'll be some movement, especially if there are surprises. Again, trade technicals, um, you know, the the safe day trading dot uh, will will help you make profit, but you know, 
be prepared for those reports. Um, if you're not playing reports, step away, watch it, and see what happens. If you're playing the reports, you know, go for it and see what happens there. A couple other things that are happening now in 2023 I want to give you a heads up on. Um, hearing rumored there's going to be some changes to the IRAs uh, that are out there. So start reading up on what uh, the government plans to do with that. Also, they're starting to touch, test digital currency. And by that I mean um, no more cash. It's all um, electronic cash. And uh, I think it means more control. Plus it allows the government to print more money <laughs> without having any, anything to do with uh, any type of backing of it, okay? Um, but you've also got activities going on um, in terms of China, Russia, and uh, a lot of the other countries that are now banding together in another area um, in terms of manage, managing cash, and that will probably have a gold background. Um, our backup. So be prepared. Start looking into it. You know, put your ear to the stone. Um, see what's happening there. You know, just kind of a heads up what to anticipate. And I'll share with you what our anticipations are over the first part of 2023 um, so that you can at least have a little idea what's going on. Now we were talking about planning and setting goals uh, last Sunday. And I want to talk a little bit more about that now. You know, when you're setting your goals for 2023, you know, is it 10%, 20% more than you made in 2022? Is it starting to trade? Um, is it trading uh, something different than what you were trading before? You know, we're trading gold. Maybe you're going to trade oil and gold. Uh, you know, maybe you're trading an option. Uh, and you're going to look at maybe a couple different uh, option trades this year. Uh, are in 2023 versus what you're doing 2022. So, you know, you're really set, <clears throat> setting a goal. Take a look at what your what your needs are, okay? A uh, simple way for me that I, I did when I first started out was I looked at my debt and my goal was paying off at least half of my debt, okay? Um, and so as I was uh, uh, trading, that was kind of my goal. I had a number. I knew what that number meant on a daily basis, uh, what I needed to hit there, and uh, kind of go from there. That's a, a start. If it's not that, maybe it's uh, replacing your income, um, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, pick a goal and start uh, focusing on it, log it in. Um, you know, I trade every day and then I, I put a log on my uh, calendar as to plus or minus what I made for the day and uh, kind of keeps me comparing it to my my goal and I have an idea of where I'm at plus or minus. Now the, th the next thing is you're going to have to focus in on risk. If you're making money um, you know you want to stick to a rule of risking no more than one to three percent of your account okay. Now if you have you know that depends on how much money you have uh, you know, if you've got a thousand dollars, a one percent is what ten bucks. You know, that's kind of not realistic. So maybe it's a hundred bucks. So that's ten percent. Um, so think about what you're trying to do. If you've got ten thousand dollars in your account, you know, uh, five percent is what uh, five hundred bucks. One percent is a hundred dollars. Um, kind of think about what you want to have do. You know, it depends on your pot, I guess I'd say. Uh, how big your pot is really determines how small you can keep your risk. Certainly I keep my risk pretty low um, when I'm trading. Um, I have a 40 to $60 stop loss when I'm trading commodities. Um, I have a 30 cent stop loss when I'm trading options. 30 cents, you know, not even 10%, uh, um, just 30 cents. Um, and that means that, you know, I only lose 30 cents uh, depending on how many contracts I've traded. Uh, it's pretty minimal, you know, maybe $100, $150. Um, and that's pretty safe for me. I'm pretty comfortable with that um, because I'm pretty conservative. 
Um, I'm really conservative about how much money I, I want to lose and then, you know, and then restart it. Now, the other thing with focusing on risk is you have to say when's enough. I mean, uh, I have a rule on commodities that uh, three trades lost consecutively, uh, no more than $100, $150, uh, I stop trading. Uh, those three trades show that I'm not focused, I'm not doing what I should be doing, I'm not looking or being aware of what's going on. So I stopped trading. I never double up. Um, so, you know, I lost in a trade. So the next trade, instead of one contract, I have two contracts. I don't do that. Um, the other thing that I want to do too is on options, I, like I said, I keep it at 30 cents. Uh, I have a, an amount of $300 that I am comfortable losing. So that's about to two or three trades as well. And if I have three trades consistently that I've lost, then again, uh, I'm not trading particularly well at that point, and I stop. Now, if you know I have a, a loss and then a, a tr and then a success, um, typically one of my risk my risk will uh, be half as much as what my gold is. Okay, so you know if I have a $50 stop loss, you know I'm looking for a hundred or $150 profit. So what I'm doing is, is I'm making sure that I'm making more money. And it's just a matter, too, of, of analyzing where you at or you're at in terms of trading. At the beginning of the day, you know, if you're off, um, you know, and maybe you do the first trade. First couple trades I do are paper trades anyway, trying to get in the mood, uh, get in the swing of things. And then I move over to, pay, uh, to live. But I'm careful about what I do, and if I, it, it tells me if I'm on or off. And if I have, you know, while I'm trading that paper in the morning, I, you know, I lose on both sides, or I lose on those trades, uh, you know, then I kind of reevaluate evaluate where I'm at, uh, take a look at my focus, take a look at uh, myself, and decide if, um, you know, maybe that day I'm not going to trade live at all. Um, so it really kind of look, I really kind of look at that and determine if uh, how I'm doing for the day and how I'm managing my, my risk. And that's what I want you to do is manage that risk, take a look at it, and uh, you know, use it as your, your uh, thermostat, I guess you'd say, in terms of you know, whether you're going to continue to trade or not. And uh, uh, so think about that. I hope that helps you with uh, looking at uh, how you're trading and what's going on. Remember this next two weeks, volume's gonna be a little low, so you may have to back off on your profit stop a little bit. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I wanna mention too that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me uh, questions that you might have at Mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.